Hi, in this video we are looking for how do we add and format pictures. So these are the topics if you see on the screen. The topics which I will be covering here are how do we add pictures, how do we change the shape of pictures, how do I make the pictures in the 3D format, how do I change the color, border and the shades of the picture and finally I will just crop the picture. Let's see that one by one. So now I have just one slide on the screen, uh, two slides on the screen. Now what I want is I want to add a picture on this slide which is an empty slide. So how do I add a picture? Very simple. I will just go to this insert tab. In the insert tab you see there is a picture button. So I will just click on the picture button here and I will get a dialog box. So in the dialog box you have to navigate to the folder where you have the pictures. I have already navigated there. It is on the MS PowerPoint and the images. So there are various images available. So I will pick up any one image. Let us say I will pick up this image pick 4 and I will click on insert. So once I click on insert you see there is a picture inserted in my screen itself. Now uh, this is the picture which is inserted. If you want to resize you can click on any of the button at the borders and you can resize. For example I will just drag it like this or I will just drag it this way. Similarly I can drag it any four corners you can just drag in uh, you can resize the picture. Now when you go for a presentation sometimes you do not like this kind of square picture you want to change the shape of the picture. How do you change it? Very simple. Once I click on the picture if you observe I have got one more tab that is the pictures tool and that is the format tab. Now in this format tab as the name says you can format anything related to picture. So first thing what I wanted is I wanted to change the shape of the picture. So in the format tab if you see there are picture styles so I will select this click on this drop down and these are the different available styles or you can say shape of the picture you can change. If I select any one of them let us say I will select this one you see this is the shape it is changed automatically. Let us see one more if I select some other shape let us say this one so this way the picture shape has changed. So I will select this round one this is okay. So this way the picture shape can be changed and if you do not like you can just reset the picture size and shape whatever you want. So you see there is an option as reset picture either of the options you can select reset picture here. So this way the picture size and you can say the shape of the picture can be changed. Let us see the next one. I will show you the next topic we have that is how do we uh, yeah add pictures and change shape is done. How do we remove the background to make it as a 3D look. Now uh, if you see this picture I have that is a simple 2D look. If I want to make into a 3D look how we can do that. Let us see I will just try to show you here. I will just maximize it first. Yeah. Now I want to make it as a 3D look. So for that I have to go to this format tab and on the right hand side if you see there is a remove background button. Now how we can remove it. So I will just click on this remove background. Now what exactly I am talking about the background is the only thing I like about this is the, the animal. I do not want the background the water which is there. So I will remove that background so only animal will be left. So how can I do that? So once you click on that remove background button you will get this again background removal tab and you will get this options here. So I will say it will give me options like mark areas to keep, mark areas to remove. So I will click on this mark areas to keep. Which areas I want? I want this area. I want this area to be kept. So what I will do is I will start clicking on this place. You see there is a small button which is highlighted. I will just make a round on that image which I want like this. Okay, It will take time. Use your mouse. I have a touch screen so I can use that. So use your mouse and you can keep this image. So what I have done is I have highlighted the areas which I want to keep right. So I have selected this mark areas to keep. So once you have done marking the areas which you want to keep the last thing you have to do is you have to click on this option as keep changes. So once you click on keep changes you see what will happen here. I will click on this keep changes. So you see only the animal is there. Now when you present this picture in the you know for a presentation it looks in the 3D format. I will just show in the slideshow mode by pressing F shift F5. You see it looks somewhere in the 3D look. So obviously this areas I have left I am not that good into this place. So you can just keep on marking and you can show in the 3D look. One more example I will just show you here. I will uh, create a new slide here. New slide and same way I will insert a picture here. Insert pictures. I will just take one more example. I will select this picture here. Pick one. 
click on insert very simple if you want to make this as a 3d look you can remove the background you see that's a background the water and the sky and the clouds you can remove that and i can just keep this hand in which there's a forest and everything i can keep that how do you remove it very simple go to the format tab and you can click on this remove background select this mark areas to keep and i'll keep click uh, keep on clicking on this place i want to keep this like this once you have done just you have to click on keep changes so if you keep, if you uh, click on this keep changes you see only this is left and it becomes a 3d image so i'll just press f5 from my keyboard i hope you can see that it's lo it's look somewhere like 3d image and the earlier one was 2d image only so this is one method by which you can uh, remove the background and it, you can convert into a 3d image right next next i have how to uh, change the border color and shades of a image so of a picture so i'll just go to create a new slide first this one and uh, i'll add a new picture here insert picture i'll select one picture over here yeah select one picture insert so this picture what i'll do is i'll just try to change the color and everything so here if you see there's a color option so you want to change the color of that you select any option from here you see the color changes automatically this is the place in the uh, format tab you have the option that is the color and you can choose whatever color you want if you do not like any color at any point of time click on reset picture so these are the available colors which are given here if you do not like their choice you can go for more variations and from there you can choose various options available next is if you want to change the border color border style or shades on the right hand side if you see that is the picture border so from here i can select the picture border let's say yellow color yeah a thin yellow color line has been displayed if you observe here thin yellow line so same way there are different options available again here if you see picture border if you want to make the line thicker than what it is visible click on weight make it thicker so this is the thick line so same way you can go for picture effects and you can rotate your image in any angle if you want so this is the image rotation doesn't look proper so i'll reset it so this way you can work on that and picture layout also different layouts are available we'll not go into that so this way we can you know uh, change the uh, border shades and colors of a picture itself so this there are various method you can keep on try and error method and accordingly can work on that last one we have that is how do we crop image if you do not want the entire image you want just part of image how do you do that so i'll just select this image let's say this image and i want to crop it i just want the two eyes of the animal i'll just select this and i'll go to format tab on the right hand side if you see there are options as crop crop to shape crop aspect so i'll just select the first uh, option that is crop at any corner where you see the dark highlighted line if you drag like this and if you drag like this only this area will be selected this area will be selected i'll just go to this crop and uh, yeah and i'll click outside here so you see only that area has been selected so this is how you can crop a image this looks not very good if you want to make and crop into a particular shape you can do that you can just go to the format crop and you say you want to crop it into some image fancy image or shape yeah, these are the different shapes available so if i select some shape let's say i'll go for any shape yeah let's say this shape so you see this shape <laughs> it's so i'll go to some other shape here yeah so this way you can keep on changing shapes different shapes are available accordingly and also there are some aspect ratios the ratio you want 1 is to 1 2 is to 2 and so on and again there are some options where you can fill or you can fit according to the screen itself you can see as fit so you see the shape it has properly entire shape has come into that you know uh, entire picture has come into that shape itself so accordingly you can work on this crop options different options are here available So I hope you are able to understand how do we can add the picture into your uh, slides and also you can format editing part is completely into formatting and you can work on that. So I hope you have understood the video. That's all.